So the uh, Twitter stream exploded. I think you're one nationally. Uh, thank you to the bloggers here. Um, the number one question was, any mammals have erections that last more than four hours? <laughs> I think, I believe if that, has, I believe the um, official, official um, take on that is if that happens, you should call your doctor. That's a dysfunction. <laughs> Why don't you come over here? We're going to talk right. over here on the dot, because this is going to be a little set up while we talk. So, um, I think I've got it here. Um, these are fibers in a hydrostatic structure under pressure from the wall tissues. That's pretty much the takeaway here. Uh, they're fibers, <laughs> yeah, they're under tension yeah. pressure. You got it. Okay, can I just, <laughs> I'm gonna write it down. So what took your graduate advisor six months to notice what the hell you were doing? I'm very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm actually very quiet. Six months. <laughs> <laughs> so you must be great at parties a lot of, all right. <laughs> So I had a couple of real science questions. Go right ahead. It appears, unbeknownst to me, but I'm, I'm getting smarter by the moment, or at least more educated, <laughs> birds and reptiles have not evolved penises. Is this correct? This is a mystery. It is a little more complicated than that. I know. All right. It. So okay. um, most birds do not have penises, although um, Patty Brennan, who's also at UMass with me. and uh, she, With my, you. Yeah, well, it's in the water up there. Well, yeah, okay, who knows? Well, she works on ducks. Uh -huh, okay, She's good. really interesting. Um, but so ducks, and, ducks have penises, very high speed. Um, you could, okay, if you go to, go to the internet so sorry, and Google <laughs> YouTube duck penis, and all of you, all of you will see the film. It's absolutely amazing how fast and these things can, these things are, are, are inflated. We're talking love them and leave them, right? Uh, oh, yes. Um, reptile, reptiles are an interesting group because um, alligators have penises. I'm working, I'm actually working on a process. Turtles do as well. Turtles have in, independently evolved this, pro, this um, um, mechanism here. This particular mechanism of the um, axial orthogonal fiber array. Um, let's see. Um, snakes and lizards have two. Two. Double the pleasure. <laughs> okay, you had another thought here. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Lisa, nice going on this one. Okay. Uh, who could make this up, right? <laughs> it's, it's an amazing system. So penises that don't wiggle, this is a problem for you. Uh, okay. penises, penises that don't wiggle, yes. This but, not, not that it's a problem. It was no, a curious issue. It was issue. a curious issue. Okay. What else is curious that's sort of the unresolved questions about penises? We might as well just get them all on the table now. <laughs> <laughs> there's, well, let's see. Unresolved, Dan. The Un frontiers of penis research. There's a lot. There really is a lot. There's so many um, you don't want to list them all here. There's so many that I think you need to find me at a party. And okay, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> the science kit on this one's going to be a hit. <laughs> Just ask for it, and you can see the top ten biggest problems that Diane is working on, and who knows what we'll have next year. Thank you so much for coming to the TED Med stage.